Hey, John with Off-Grid Homesteading. Okay, so we're having some uh, challenges with our water supply. As you know, um, about a month and a half ago, probably five, five weeks ago approximately, our um, spring, developed spring, ended up um, drying up. Hi guys. So we're facing more than a challenge because our water in the developed spring has dried up. I think there's just a blockage. We're going to go down and work on the spring in a little bit, put new semen in since it's all dry. Um, but what we've had is come and take a look. I'm not going to run it through my kitchen sinks. I don't know if you there doesn't really show it. Well, yeah. Okay, and I'll flush the toilet. And what is that, John? What's going on with our water system? You looked it up. Yep. So from what I can tell, um, there's a high iron content in the water along with uh, manganese. And together, they kind of eat each other and create this little black sludge um, that is being picked up by our thousand mesh filter, the Rusco uh, spin down filter. And uh, anyway, we just bought two of those, just came in, and they're getting clogged within a day. A day. Less well, than the, fir a day. the first one got clogged within two days, the second one uh, got clogged within a day. And uh, so the problem's getting worse. The bacteria yeah. is getting worse. Bacteria is getting worse. And here's so, what we did we went over to our, our friend's house who just had a well put in, and they let us get. Um, some well water from them and we filled our 330 gallon tank twice and then put it in now we're draining our cistern um, and we're gonna have to shock it then drain it again and then probably shock it and drain it again and then go back over and get at least three more because we have a thousand gallon cistern up here on top and it looks like we're gonna have rain later this week I don't know if it's going to be enough to fill up our cistern, but uh, we'll be ready because the, the spring box will have been um, repaired. And then we're going to use dousing rods and give that a try and see if it tells us anything about our spring. Um, we've been watching some YouTube videos on that. So you can watch the process, but well, our spring dries up, we get awesome fresh well water bring it over here and it turns into that because we pumped from the spring fed pond down there and that's what has brought all of this into our cistern and we're also going to have to drain the cistern, the cistern, the cistern down, down below, below. Yeah. yeah so we got to go get all that done and rain's coming hopefully 40 percent chance don't know exactly what that means here but we're hoping for rain so let me show you, these are the two filters. So this was new less than one week ago. This is cleaned as of uh, this morning. So I put it in yesterday. Uh, so I think second time I cleaned it. So you can see it's already getting, uh, you know, there's really no flow left to it anymore. So that, that's a, a big problem. Can't be spending 18 bucks every day or two to replace these filters. I mean, this was giving us, you know, fairly clean, you know, much cleaner water in the house. Um, and then, like I said before, underneath the sink, we've got that, uh, um, <clears throat> that, uh, let's see if you can see it or not. There you go. So we've got this filter system here that's got six, um, candelabra type of um, ceramic filters very similar to like a Berkey and then that's what um, goes to the cold side so we're getting you know very clean uh, cold water but if I turn the cold water on now while the while the um, uh, we're having I just took all the filters and stuff off so we can try to pump through any of this you know just get this this stuff out so we're just gonna feed the garden with the water um, we're going to go ahead and feed the garden with the water and then uh, we're just turning on the pumps to drain all the, um, the main cistern up here. 
let me open the lid here and you can get an idea before you could actually see all the way to the bottom you can see the pump it was just completely clear and uh, now it is dark and black so check this out there you go cannot see can't really see anything past that point normally you can see all the way to the bottom you can see all the way to the bottom into the pump so we are um, we've just turned on we got a hundred mesh filter here 200 mesh filter there we're still going to filter it as we're uh, as we're cleaning out the system just so it doesn't clog up any more of the lines the hoses the sprayers and that kind of stuff because if you let that stuff get into the uh, um, soaker hose and things like that it'll, it'll clog all that up so anyway uh, it's a good day to good day to fill up all the the tubs for the animals which you're going to do here and give them some you know fresh water that's equivalent to uh, pond water you could say and then we're going to go ahead and take our 330 gallon tank over there and we'll go get that filled up again when this uh, water gets near the bottom we'll have to uh, drain it out a few times so, anyway, that's what's happening today. We'll talk to you later. Bye.